Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The Old Testament reading for this coming Sunday, which is the ninth Sunday after Pentecost, is from Jeremiah chapter 23 verses 1 through 6. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors, saith the Lord. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries whither I have driven them and will bring them again to their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. And I will set up shepherds over them which will feed them and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. In his days Judah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name whereby he shall be called, the Lord of a righteousness. Here ends the reading. The Lord of righteousness has come to humankind. His name is Jesus, and he is the good shepherd. He gathers his flock and cares for them. That is in contrast to the many fake shepherds and false prophets and pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep. I cannot help but wonder if those pastors who care more for themselves than those they are called to care for really understand the gravity of the situation for themselves. They may lift themselves up, but those who think so highly of themselves that they would subvert the will of God in caring for his people are endangering their own relationship with God. They are endangering their own lives. There will be consequences. So we pray that the hearts and minds of those pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of the Lord's pasture will have a change of heart, that they will be renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit, that they might speak the truth and help cultivate the peace that Christ has promised to those who follow him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we all have like sheep gone astray. Help us, Lord, to be more faithful to you and to in serving one another as we follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.